Welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a Johnny Depp haircut. So we're just going to get right in, starting off with a natural or center part. This is more of a natural part. We're going to take that to the crown, crown to the occipital bone, down to the center of the spine. Then we're going to split it off right at the occipital to the mastoid. That's going to be the first, the first flat section in the nape. Then we're going to subsection that into three. I'm going to use my feather plie razor and we're going to check some uh, inspiration picks here of what we're going to be doing and he usually wears kind of a graduated shape it's not completely one length but it's got a lot of texture to it and it's usually a little shorter around the front kind of flowing towards the back and this one is definitely a much more graduated shape than it being all one length so that lends itself to a razor cut very very well so we're going to start right in the center of the back. I'm going to hold that straight down at zero elevation. With a small razor stroke, I'm going to go through and cut that one length. Now the razor stroke will naturally give me a little bit of graduation just because of the razor movement that I'm using to cut the hair one length. So just starting in the center and then working right to left or left to right, whichever that I'm more comfortable with on that particular section. It doesn't really matter. I tend to work one side, my strong side, and then go to my weak side, but I should probably cut the weak side first. It's easier to match my strong side to the weak side. Now we're just continuing the last section in the nape section. This nape section I sectioned out because it's all completely flat against the head, so that's going to show me zero elevation. As I start to go up, you'll see that it's going to determine the elevation that I use when I go through and cut my hair. Each section is going to have its own particular elevation and proper elevation that I need to cut that to bevel the shape. Cutting into the center and then going out towards the side, just cleaning everything up and getting my one length shape. Trying to keep everything as consistent as possible. Now, I always want to use a sharp blade. A sharp blade just slices through the hair effortlessly and I don't end up getting kind of half cut bits and it, it makes it so much more effortless and easy. And there you can see my elevation that I'm going to be holding the center section. It's right off the peak curvature. So as I go up, the elevation rises. Now as I go towards the hairlines on the side, you'll notice that my elevation is going to get a little bit lower. So it's going to have a little bit more solidity. And then in the center and the back, it's going to be stacked and graduated. The head shape is going to determine exactly how I hold each section. I'm going to clean that up a little bit right there. I don't like the way that's sticking out. So just taking my time, just pinching, and then just cutting that off. Continuing to go up section by section. Now each section that I take going up the head is a flat section. And here you're going to see the elevation for each section that I take. So not only is it a flat section width-wise, it's also a flat section height-wise. So as I take, take each section, it's a flat part of scalp so that when I hold it off the peak curvature here, I'm not cutting across a curved part of the head. So everything in this section is going to be cut at the same elevation because the head shape is not curving. And you'll see me kind of wiggle the hair. I'll put the hair in my hand, I'll comb it, and then you'll see me lift up and down real quick and kind of shake that section. And that's going to allow me to see the perfect elevation. If I hold the section too high, the roots are going to relax. If I hold the section too low, it's going to curve across the head. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and click the notification bell if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Now I'm going to check that and make sure it looks good. looks pretty good. I'm going to take the next section. This is the next flat section around the side of the head. I don't usually separate the back side of the head, the back of the head to the side of the head. I just continue that section all the way around. Now you'll notice I'm getting more elevation here. As I, Now if I lift it up, it gets too soft. If I hold down, it starts to curve across the head. You can see that, elevate, uh, that illustrated right there. Trying to keep my sections 
as consistent and clean as possible. I want to make sure I have the same wetness throughout the section. I want to make sure that I have a sharp blade and keep things as consistent as possible. I don't want one side to be kind of fuzzy because I got lazy and didn't wet the hair properly or I used a dull blade. Most time people have a bad experience with a razor cut because they're using a sharp blade or they're not properly wetting the hair and making sure that the blade is gliding across the hair effortlessly. Following the same thing on the left side and I'm just going to continue to repeat the same procedure. Flat section is going to determine the width of my sections as I work up the back of the head and then the head shape is going to show me the elevation for every section and then I just continue to cut my line. This is a one length shape that's been beveled so it doesn't end up looking just boring. It has some movement, it has some texture to it and especially with the razor that's the epitome of this style as it's got to have a lot of softness and, and a little bit of grunge and a little rock and roll to it. That's, that's the epitome of Johnny Depp, isn't it? You'll see me check my elevation right there by lifting up and wiggling down to make sure I have the right elevation. Lifting it too high, the roots get relaxed. Too low, it starts to curve across the head, and I don't end up with a consistent bevel. Now, I'm using the razor flat against the section, kind of like I'm filleting the section. Now, this is different than if I was to go through and cut it from one side to the other. It, a lot of times, you'll see me cut from the tip of my finger to the knuckle of my hand, or I'll cut from the back of my knuckles out to the tip of my finger. This is going to introduce more movement. I don't necessarily want movement here. I just want the texture. So I'm laying the blade on top of the hair, flat against it, and then cutting with the same kind of consistent stroke across each section. As I work towards the front, checking the elevation, making sure it's proper. And then using my guide, cutting right on top of my guide as best I can. Now I've finished cutting around the back, so I'm going to take this last section on top. And anything that just hangs over, I'm just going to cut that off. And you'll see me check the elevation to make sure each section that I go up, the elevation gets raised. If you don't already follow us on social media, please check us out at Jatai Feather. We got Facebook, we got Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and I think we even have a TikTok that we're working on as well. So check it out. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Just going back through and making sure anything that hangs out that's not quite to my liking, I just take those little tips off and check the texture and check the length. It's looking pretty good, so we'll move on to the last section on this side. Now here I want to evenly distribute everything across the parting as I work around the back. Now there's not a whole lot of hair for me to flat panel with the razor so I'll cut from one side to the other. This is going to introduce a little bit of movement but since it's on the top we're not too worried about it. Now this shape, I purposely was going a little shorter in the front than in the back because a lot of the, the inspiration pictures that we were looking at, it tends to bevel around the front going back as well as going up. So he likes a little bit of hair in his face, but it's got to have a little bit of movement going back. So it being shorter in the front and longer in the back helps bevel that shape around the front as well. Now we're going to move on to the right side. Same thing. Check the elevation. Hold that out. Anything that hangs over, just cut off. Now this is as much about feel as it is about pure technique. Anytime you're using a razor, there's a, a certain looseness that comes from it and a visual component that you have to really pay attention to. It's not just pure technique. So as I'm cutting, I'll run my fingers through the hair and see if everything is flowing properly, if everything's balanced, and then clean up whatever I need to as I'm going. That way I don't have to worry about 
when I finish going back in and, and trying to real quickly clean up my haircut. Now we're going to start around the front. I'm going to take a section from the, uh, the parietal ridge around the front, which is the second bump going from the front hairline back, going to the center of the recession. Then I'm going to take a small part in the middle and I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to layer just that part around the front. He likes a little bit of short hair around the front that kind of hangs out and gives him a little something to push back, but it always kind of falls forward. And I think that, you know, that's the epitome of the, the coolness of this haircut is that it does have that kind of disconnection around the front where pieces just randomly fall out. And I think that this sort of layering technique with the razor really is perfect for that because it forces the hair to separate and it's it still blends. Now, when you're layering hair with a razor, just take your time. Just take your time. Put a death grip on the section as you're holding it up. If you've got a sloppy grip, the hair is going to fall out as soon as you try to apply the razor to it. It's easier when you're holding it down. So as you hold it up, just make sure you've got a good grip. Cleaning up any little bits. Now let's go through and check it. It's looking pretty good. I think it's time to style it. Here's our end result, and I think it looks pretty good. I think it matches some of the inspiration pictures that we were going for. It really has that kind of Johnny Depp feel to it. Check out the Jatai Academy for more content like this, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>